President. It's a great uh, pleasure and honor to welcome you, your Minister for External Affairs, and other members of your government here to Washington, and especially to welcome you back once again. I think it's most appropriate that this ceremony should be held between the White House on the one side and on the other between the Washington Monument and the memorial to Thomas Jefferson. Because in a very real sense, our guest of honor today, the president of Tanganyika, has played a role uh, comparable to those uh, distinguished Americans in the founding of his country. President Nereri led the fight, led the way, led the path to independence for his own country. And he has recognized, as our early founding fathers recognized, that that was only part of the struggle, and in some ways uh, the easiest part. The more difficult is to build a cohesive society once independence has been founded. And it is for that, uh, Mr. President, and for your efforts in this regard, that uh, you are most admired in this country. This is the great test of the state to build once independence has been achieved. Your efforts to build a cohesive, open society, a free society, based on uh, liberal principles, and also to build uh, this society and this country as part of a larger organization of East Africa has won uh, the respect and admiration of the government and the people of the United States. You are engaged in uh, great work, Mr. President, and we feel it the uh, most opportune that you should visit the United States in the summer of 1963, when so much is changing in your own country and in Africa, and where so much is changing here. Progress, we hope, uh, will mark the year 1963 in every field, internationally, nationally, in this continent, in this hemisphere, in your continent, in your hemisphere, and throughout the world. And it is, therefore, uh, a most happy occasion for all of us to welcome a distinguished uh, leader of Africa, a distinguished leader of his own country, a distinguished uh, leader for peace and justice throughout the world, the president of Tanganyika, President Nereri. Mr. President, on behalf of myself and the Minister for External Affairs and the other colleagues of mine, I want to thank you very much and your government and the people of the United States for the great welcome that you have given us today. As you've rightly said, Mr. President, uh, this is not my first visit to the United States. I have been coming to the United States now I don't remember how many times. I always associate the United States with freedom. During those days when we were struggling for our freedom and having chosen the method of uh, peace to achieve our freedom, I used to come almost annually to the United Nations organization to plead the cause of the freedom of my country. And every time I think of the United States, I think also of the freedom of my people. As you've said, Mr. President, one part of our struggle is over, and that is the struggle to win independence from colonial rule. But that's merely the beginning. Our community, like your community, consists of a large number of people, some native, others immigrants. And it is part of our struggle ahead to see that all our people, whether they be native or they be immigrants that are equal citizens of our society. It's also part of our struggle to see that the amenities of life in the 20th century reach our people. You know, Mr. President, that we're very, very far from achieving the goal of raising those standards of living for which, without which the struggle for independence is not enough. But we, we are determined to, ca to carry on the struggle, and I'm sure that with friends in the world, in all parts of the world, we are certain to win that struggle too. I want to say once, once again, Mr. President, that I and my colleagues are most grateful 
and we're looking forward very much to a few days in the United States. Thank you very much.